Pickles, it's Lookin' Brats, aka Dom. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. On this channel, I love to talk about dolls. I love to review them. I love to unbox them. I love to share my love of dolls with all of you. If you're new here, welcome. I don't know, I lost my train of thought, but like, what else is new? But if you couldn't tell by my name, I love Bratz dolls. Bratz are my number one, of course. And in this video, we are going to unbox some vintage. And I use vintage very loosely here because I don't think the dolls are vintage per se. I think vintage or like, you know, that terminology of retro or something, it needs a little bit longer to cook in order to be considered that. But I do feel like that term gets used a lot for Bratz and especially Bratz from like 20 years ago almost. So I don't know. We're using the term very loosely today. So if you clicked on this, and saw the word vintage and were like, that's not vintage. Well, I don't even care. So <laughs> I'm kind of like over like the, the vintage debate at this moment. I, I don't know, is this clickbait? Might be clickbait. Anyways, we're gonna be opening up these Bratz Boys from 2004. These are the Wildlife Safari Boys. And so what happened recently, my friend Wild Wolf Dolls, shout out to him, he told me that there were a bunch of random Bratz Boys on AliExpress. If you don't know, AliExpress is this Chinese reselling website where you can get a lot of factory rejects, you can get a lot of weird random old dolls on there. I go on there sometimes, I've gotten some good scores on there. I got Passion for Fashion Aubrey. I've gotten some random like mini Bratz knickknacks and all of that. I've gotten, uh, I'm trying to think, I've gotten some good stuff on there. I got Brad's Babies Twins, the regular sized ones, Nora and Nita. Um, I... <sighs> I got I got I got some good stuff off of AliExpress in the past. Um, it's really good for like random things that maybe some people don't really care a lot about, or maybe some people do, and a lot of people go flock to AliExpress. Sometimes they get good stuff. Sometimes they get kind of like duds. Sometimes they get really well priced things. I think these were really well priced uh, when they got posted. I don't know. By the time I post this, I don't know if these will still be in stock. I don't know what the quantity is like, I don't know how much they have in stock of each. I got three of three different characters. I might go back if I have money in my next paycheck, I might go and get the last one that they had from Wildlife Safari. And they also had Boys Really Rock Eaton, and I really want him because I love his, I love his top. It's very gay. <laughs> it's like this sweater that's like a crop top. It's, it's really cute. I really want him because he's a very um, homosexual looking doll. <laughs> to say the very least. But they had some Wildlife Safari Boys and I've really loved, I'm, I really, I'm dropping them here. I've really loved the Wildlife Safari line and I think I've grown an appreciation for it in more recent years. I've never owned a fully complete Wildlife Safari doll. I only think back to like 2007 when I was a kid and I saw a bunch of them at a Marshalls, I think, and I did not care for them in the moment. Like they were just whatever to me. And I think I had a lot of those moments when I was a kid and now looking back, I was like, wow, I really wish I had gotten them back then. But you know what, it's fine now, we are reliving our childhoods or we are trying to collectively recapture the magic of our childhoods through doll collecting for some of us. Without further ado, I did get the Wildlife Safari Boys. I got Cade and he was the first one that really stood out to me. So they only had Cade, Kobe, Eden, and Dylan, who I got Dylan. I got Dylan, Eaton, and Cade. Kobe was cute, but he didn't like fully like, I don't know, like, I was like, I don't need him immediately, and if I can get him at a later time, I will get him. I was just trying to do, like, what I could afford in the moment, because I got those, and I also got these, like, random Bratz 2015 pets, like, prototypes of some sort. I might do a separate video on those, because I have other Pretz, Pretz, what? I have other pets, like, samples and prototypes that I can share, and I think it might be cute for, like, one video. And I, I honestly have a lot of video ideas at the moment, and it's hard to, like, keep it's hard to keep them all in my brain and I try to write them down and whatnot. And it's also hard to like sit down and film them because I'm like, hmm, like when do I have time and when's the right moment? And right now I had, I had a moment and I was like, you know what? I'm sick of looking at these in their boxes and I really, really want to unbox them. When they came, the first two came last week and then today I got the last delivery with Eaton and I was like, wow, these are really in good condition. I was kind of expecting like beat up boxes and honestly sometimes on aliexpress the boxes it'll just be like 
the box and not like the actual plastic shell, which is fine because usually I'm unboxing dolls from AliExpress. I'm thinking about it now. I got a bunch of Bratzillas off of AliExpress. I don't know if they're all still on there, but literally just go to AliExpress, search up Bratz or Bratzillas and like whatever pops up is what you're going to be able to find, to be honest. Sometimes you have to use like different search terms like doll head or doll parts. I don't know. Like it, AliExpress can be a little bit dodgy with those search terms, so be careful, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, very, very happy I was able to score some of my life safari boys. I wish they had the girls, but I know AliExpress is more for like the, the obscure doll. So I don't know if these, they'll still have these in stock by the time I post this. And if they do, then good luck. I don't, I don't want to share the links because I really don't feel like it. I literally just go search it up because I feel like that's the easiest thing to do. We're going to unbox Cade. <laughs> I love it when Bratz did themed handles and stuff, like this little like tree thing with the rope around it. I don't even know how to describe it, but it, it just works so well with the Wildlife Safari dolls. I loved the Wildlife Safari commercial growing up because it was very, very different. Very minimal language used in it. It was like wildlife and it was like the song but they didn't really talk in it it was like so strange i thought it was very intriguing and also i think it was like a minute long commercial which i feel like was a little bit unheard of at the time so the cards the lenticular cards i miss when they did lenticular cards and i was talking about this somewhat recently with my boyfriend and i was like i feel like lenticular cards are not a thing anymore like do they stop using the technology on these like do they not make them like this anymore i don't know because i don't see it but like when you do that it's like a different picture and i used to think it was the coolest thing growing up it's still pretty cool and brett's utilized this a lot like it was a major thing that brett's did in the early years and i miss it i do miss it i can't lie now one thing i was really worried about with the packaging also a lot of like loose pieces here is his water canteen very cute very camo so i was worried about bugs and like other debris but so far like i've been inspecting the packages like looking at them and i'm like i haven't seen anything suspicious i haven't seen any bugs i get really scared of like silverfish and stuff so i don't know things to think about when you're buying like secondhand in general those are things i think about but here's Cade in his half box and I love all the accessories he's coming with. I'm really excited to uh, check out this outfit and like the doll overall. Let me like actually unbox him. I saw them on AliExpress and I was like, hmm, I don't know if I should do it. Cause I'm like, ooh, like my funds are like low, but I did do a payment plan if I'm gonna be honest. And I was like, I'll, I'll get what I can. And because I really wanted to enjoy it. Like, I was like, you know what? I feel like when good stuff goes on AliExpress, I tend to, like, miss it a lot of the time. And I was like, I don't know. Like, I feel like I should jump on this one because it's, it's cool. Now, this, I believe, is this, like, a coffee urn or is this, like, a lantern? I think you know what it is, though. I, you know what? It probably says it on the back of the box. No, it just says, plus tons of thrilling accessories. So, that's great. Also, the back of his box. I, I'll read the blurb to you. So it says, take a walk on the wild side. Hold on tight for an adventure like no other as the Bretts boys hit the clubs and cafes in the most ferocious and funkadelic fashions ever and show the world they're wild and free and on the prowl. What an interesting, interesting description. And I'm noticing it says, do not expose boys head to water as it may cause hair to fall out. I'm assuming that's the flocking because sometimes the flocking can come out if it's like in the water or exposed to it or at least for too long so i have a bunch of his accessories here so he comes with this like little pda device he also comes with a watch he comes with this sort of barbed wire bracelet he also comes with a beaded green necklace he comes with an actual flashlight this would have been really handy when i was doing my brad's dead by daylight post i actually Sasha in that post I don't know if you ever saw it but Sasha's holding a microphone that I edited to look like a flashlight which it was like you know what close enough but it would have been nice to have a flashlight that was over a year ago now though <laughs> we also have these green shades I do love that translucent green look to it these are pretty cool shades to be honest now I'm gonna just like rip him out of the box and hope for the best and he is out but 
I forgot that Bratz did these metal wires. I'm so used to opening up like more recent Bratz dolls that I forgot that these existed. And some people were mentioning how these were better than all the plastic ties. And look at all the plastic ties back there. There's like three of them in the back of his head. Why was that necessary, honestly? Um, yeah, people were mentioning that they missed these metal ties, and I don't know, like, I'm a little indifferent towards them. They do look a little, like, icky and yellow now that they've aged and stuff, and granted, I don't know what the conditions these were stored in, so I'm not gonna complain too much. And, like, you know, a lot of the rubber bands were rotted, which is just expected when there's a doll that's been stored I either really well or really poorly. I think it really depends, because, like... Any doll can end up with that, like, over a period of time. Okay, this bag is pretty cool and impressive. It's a pretty big bag, and it does open. It's like a Velcro open. There is tissue paper in it. Hopefully no silverfish in there. <laughs> and also the front pockets open. Brett's bags were really well constructed back then. I never took that for granted. There are studs on the front pocket. There's studs on the straps. That is a really nice bag. Like really well constructed like I love that there was a lot of detail going into the boys back then and I still think to an extent there is now but it's reproduction so it's kind of hard to measure that because over time during the Bratz sort of original run in the 2000s we saw the boys start off really strong get a little bit better and then by like 2005 2006 they were like kind of not that great like they were good but like they weren't like deluxe or you know they weren't like uh there wasn't too much love going into them, unfortunately. But I think Wildlife Safari is like one of the last lines where the boys really got a lot of love. And here is Kate. He's really cute. I really love his hair. It's a little messy, but honestly could be fixed if I want to. I think it's supposed to be kind of like spiky, kind of like that 2000s cool boy look. He comes with like a long sleeve shirt. There's this jean jacket sort of vest. And then I really love these pants, actually. They're, like, brown. I love the fabric on them. And then the pockets are camo. And there's, like, a a belted sort of uh, strap on them. I don't even know how to describe this. But I really like that. He does come with a belt as well, if anybody was curious. But yeah, really, really cool design. I really love this design, honestly. And the boots are, are pretty basic. They're standard like Brad's boys boots the color is cute this kid is really cute I have to be honest when I first saw these screenings I was kind of like they're a little creepy they're kind of like dead stare but I do actually really like them they're not as dead stare in person to me and moving forward we have this cute little keychain that you can use on yourself or you can use it on the dolls I feel like a lot of Brad's boys not a lot but maybe some Especially the deluxe lines would come with, like, cool keychains. A lot of brats would do that, too. This one is, like, a lizard, I think, or, like, a, an iguana of some sort. Some sort of a reptilic creature. Okay, I noticed this in the package, which I didn't notice before. It looks like some sort of belt. Maybe it's for the hat. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Ooh, we got a catalog. Wait. Oh, I miss the Bratz catalog so much. I, my boyfriend and I were talking about this recently, too, was that uh, we miss these catalogs, but also we really miss those plastic accessory bags. Sorry, side note. I I found Play Sports Katia, the race car driving one, recently at this little collectible store near my boyfriend's house, and he got Play Sports Yasmin, Slam and Soccer. I got Play Sports Katia. Play Sports Katia was one of my childhood dolls. I loved her back then and she was only 20 bucks and his was 35 originally, but the guy gave it to us for 20 bucks, which was really nice. Both brand new in box and they came with the little plastic accessory bags, or at least Katia did it. I think it might've just been Katia who had it because I think it was more like 2006 when they started doing the plastic accessory bags and then they stopped it after, pretty shortly after I want to say, but I loved those, but I love... I love the little catalogs. The catalogs were so much fun. It was just so fun. Like, I, I miss, like, paper goods like this. I feel like they could still do this, to be honest. But, I mean, they don't have, like, as big of a lineup as they used to. But, like, it's just so nostalgic. It was such a good time. Such a good time. <sighs> we really take these things for granted when we're kids. Okay, he comes with 
another water canteen. I don't, I might be mistaking all these for like water canteens or um, coffee urns or something like that. Or, oh, you know what? Don't you put soup in this thing? I don't know. I think, you know what? I'm not, a, I'm not a camping person. I'm not a wildlife person. Um, but I'll, I'll live it through the dolls and like a fantasy. This is definitely a water thing though. Like you're supposed to put your water in this thing. Pretty cute. I'm wondering if the strap could go to this as some sort of backup potentially. I'm not sure. Here is the hat and I love that he came with a hat. It's studded all around. That's, that's pretty impressive. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not gonna, I don't want to put it on him fully because I don't want to ruin his hair, but I love the fact that he came with this hat. Come on. All right, he comes with this sort of tank top. I don't know how to describe this fabric. If someone knows, please let me know, but it's really cool fabric. I like this fabric. It's kind of like a tank top fabric, like a, like a regular tank top, like an undershirt, but then the sleeves are a little bit longer and they're like a camo print this is really cute and i love these pants they're like a pleather pants but they're not like that um they're not like that pleather that tends to peel like i don't know how to describe this it almost feels like a genuine leather in a way and i don't see a lot of brats often with this type of pleather but i do think the belt might be oh the belt looks pretty sturdy actually wow i just pulled on it and it didn't like peel or anything that's pretty cool it's pretty impressive this type of pleather I've only seen used a few times. Off the top of my head, I'm thinking of Secret Date Megan slash Girls Night Out Dana. Well, yeah, it was Dana, yeah. Because they share that outfit. And then Brett's Cat's Kendall. Yeah, Kendall. She had a scaled up version of Secret Date Megan slash Girls Night Out Dana's jacket and it's that really sturdy pleather usually with pleather pieces i like to seal them with mod podge but this this i will not be sealing with mod podge i do not think it needs it 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 looks really good and it, it's holding up pretty well i don't see it actually degrading really but i guess we'll find out maybe another 20 years if anything happens to it the only thing is that there's like a, a lot of threads in it but i just can cut them out there's a real chain on it i like this pair of pants a lot both of his pants are really cool, actually. I don't know what outfit I'm going to dress him in, ultimately. Maybe, like, a mix of both outfits. But overall, he's a really cool doll. He's also a really cute doll. I feel like if I did a mini-me, I would do, like, a Cade or possibly, like, a Kobe. I'm not sure. I do want to make a mini-me one day, but time will tell what happens with that. And the last thing I see here are the shoes. And he also comes with a comb, which is pretty standard for the boys. Here are his shoes. They're these cool little sneakers. They're brown. The laces are not painted, which I'm a little shocked at, but I don't know. It's fine. Yeah, these are pretty cute. And something that was funny that I noticed with these was how heavy the boxes were. And I feel like it's because the boys' shoes were always like really heavy. They could be thrown and used as a weapon. So it, it's really fun to just like hold these again and be like, ooh, there's like weight to them. I love it when like a bo doll box has weight to it. Like it feels very like, it feels like a good purchase. It feels like a good doll. I'm sorry, there's a really strong glue smell coming from it, <laughs> from the adhesive. Yeah, the only thing I'm gonna do now is I'm going to save the back of the box, which hopefully is easy. Okay, I ripped part of the artwork, but it's fine. It's gonna be okay here we go and i do want to save one of the handles which i'm just gonna pop out cool just for like i don't know nostalgia purposes okay one boy down two more to go now i didn't think this fully through because i'm like where am i gonna put all these accessories and stuff but i don't know that's a problem from like that's a problem for like 30 minutes from now so <laughs> Next up, we are going to unbox Wildlife Safari Dylan. He's another one. I've actually wanted him for a while. I've always wanted a Dylan with braids because he looks like Cruz from the show. And Cruz from the show is modeled after, like, Wildlife Safari Dylan, so it makes sense. But, like, growing up, when I would play with my dolls, I always wanted Sasha to have a more steady love interest. And I always thought Cruz was, like, a steady love interest in a weird way. But... I feel like it's funny now that they're exploring that in the show, how, like, 
Sasha and Jade really never had love interests, whereas Chloe and Yasmin had more consistent things going on, and now Chloe's officially with Cameron again. So it, it's a lot of whatever in the canon, but here is Dylan, aka Cruz. We're going to open him up. Okay, two things that are loose in the box are the lenticular card and the keychain. The keychain looks like an alligator. It's like a metallic blue. That is pretty cool. And then here is his lenticular card. I find it interesting that his hairstyle is drastically different from his final doll. It makes me wonder like how and when they decided to put braids on him. But you don't see a lot of male dolls or honestly any dolls with cornrows. So it's interesting to see one here. And I will say the execution on Dylan is a little strange, but you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Okay, this Dylan has four hair ties in the back of his head. Come on. Again, another really cool constructed bag here. It's like, I love this shade of green, honestly. And, oh wow, there's like an actual, there's a drawstring in it. Are you kidding me? I don't think the drawstring works, but the detail itself is pretty cool. I feel like it could work though. I don't know, but I don't want to, I don't want to mess with it too much. I don't want to undo it, <laughs> but I love the straps, like the front straps on this, the electro plated belt buckles, the studs all around it. Again, another really cool bag. Like I'm honestly, I wish Brad's would get back to like bag making again. I feel like we don't have a lot of good bags right now for the dolls. I'm disappointed that the Series 2 and Series 3 dolls did not come with bags, but I don't know. It, it's too late to apologize, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully in the future they do kind of um, emphasize the bags a little bit more and that element of it, of like them being fashion dolls, because I feel like that's, a, that's an element that I feel like a lot of dolls in recent times have been missing is like fashion, and I feel like that's what Bratz is. Bratz is a fashion doll at its core and I'm happy to see Bratz really back in back in its game you know what I mean like Bratz is really like getting in there like doing their thing again on the market I love seeing that for Bratz so I'm hoping they they focus on that more but here's Dylan and okay his braids are not actually as bad as I thought the only thing I don't like is that they flocked his head and then it's only the front part of the hairline like the first row is where they plugged in his braids and then they just tied it in the back. I will say it's really nice and neatly tied and the rubber bands don't seem to have rotted yet and I'm not gonna touch them because I don't want them rotting. They're pretty well tied back. It's very neat. I do appreciate that. So not too bad. I'm not disappointed at all. His face up is also, it's the same as Cade. It's the same screening just with different color palettes. I do like the screening a lot. I do think it suits the colors, like his eye color, a little bit more. And the outfit is really cute. I love this necklace, and I don't know how to describe it quite, but it looks like a triquetra to me. And I also, I usually have my triquetra necklace, but it is broken at the moment, so I need to get a new one or fix my current one, but I've been pretty lazy to do that. But the necklace is giving me triquetra vibes, so I love that. He has a jean jacket with real studs on them. He has this tank top that says army on it. And then he also has camo pants, and they do have real pockets, it seems. Yeah. He has real pockets, so I love seeing that. I love seeing those details on older Bratz dolls. He has these lace-up boots, and they do have painted details for the most part, so I love that. Again, overall, a really cute doll. I'm loving him so far. Let's check out his second outfit and accessories. Okay, this makes sense to me. And it makes me wonder if there was something missing from Cade. Okay, I'm gonna have to look around because it looks like Cade, the strap that I was talking about, comes with binoculars, which makes so much sense. I'm like, why didn't I not think of that before so I don't know if Cade's binoculars are missing it's not a total loss for me to be honest because I don't know how often I'm going to be using the Bratz boys binoculars <laughs> but that's what the strap is for I was like why is there an extra strap in there and the strap was very neatly tied like this so that is what that is for but anyways moving on to Dylan's other accessories 
He also comes with a little water canteen thingy. And it looks to be about the same as Cade's, so not much difference there. Which is okay. Because I don't know how often I'm going to use the Bratz Boys water canteen. Okay, I really love this accessory. And I loved it. I think it was Aubrey... I want to say, was it? No, it was Kina. Passion for Fashion Kina came with one of these two. And it's the little mini camcorder. And I feel like camcorders are slightly outdated these days, which is sad. But I don't even use a camcorder anymore because I think everything is just like on your phone. But it's a real mini camcorder. Not like real, but it like, it flips out and you can see the screen. I used to be obsessed with camcorders as a kid because I used to always like make videos and I used to do like YouTube as a kid and <laughs> look at me now as an adult doing YouTube, but on my phone and I'm talking about Bretts like a crazy person. But I love the mini camcorder. Like that is so nostalgic. Oh, okay. We have the blister pack. Let's open it up. Okay. I'm going to put these in my hand. <laughs> Hopefully this uh, doesn't spill everywhere. Okay. First thing we have, I don't know what this is. But it's something. It looks like some sort of little like, electronic... To oh, it's a compass. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure this is some type of compass. So, it looks like a little pair phone. Like from Nickelodeon shows, which... Ugh, but, yeah, and then he comes with these cool translucent blue glasses. He comes with a little translucent blue water bottle of sorts. A green flashlight. A walkie-talkie. This sort of... I don't know, is this like a shark tooth necklace? I don't know. He also comes with a barbed wire bracelet, but in black. And he comes with a green watch. I love how many accessories these come with. And again, it's something that's missing. Even from Bratz, like the accessory count was so good. We were getting, we were, we were eating good back then, to be honest. Eating good. <laughs> like eating. <laughs> Okay, here are his second pair of boots, and I think these are the exact same as Cade's. So, do with that information what you will. And here is his second outfit. These pants are really cool as well. They're like those cargo pants, and I, I love the pockets on them because it's not like full camo, but it's like hints of it on the pockets. And really, really well-constructed, detailed clothing piece. And then this shirt, this long sleeve shirt, that's like brown, like a brown t-shirt. And then under it would be the shirt. It's all one piece, by the way, but I like it a lot. It's, I love this green material. It's the same as Cade's tank top. I don't know how to describe it. Is it like a corduroy? Is that corduroy? I can't quite tell. But it says cargo on the front and there's a camo print on that. Really, really cool. I might dress him in this outfit because I do like this shirt a lot. And that's about it for Dylan. I'm going to take the back of his box and add it to my back of the box collection. I'm also getting that strong smell of like the glue adhesive that they used on the back of the box. So I don't know. I don't know, man. Okay, last all we have tonight is Eaton. Eaton. I feel like I always like, ah, because people call him Ethan and I'm like, I don't like that. He's Eaton. But also when I say Eaton, I'm like, how does that sound coming out of my mouth? I'm going to replay this and be like, it sounds fine. Or it sounds completely crazy. But anyways, we have Eaton here. And my my third choice, to be honest. But also still really cute. I will say the one I got, his eyes are a little bit lopsided. But I can't complain too much for an AliExpress factory reject type doll. So we're going to unbox him. Ooh, the smell. Oh, I smell it. Here's his lenticular card. He's like, hmm, hmm, what's going on? How, how can I be in the wildlife safari? Okay, we're gonna start with his accessories because this is the first thing that came to mind. I am, I'm noticing a lot of the same accessories in different colorways, which is not a bad thing. I don't think reusing accessories is ever really a bad thing. To be honest, like I think some people forget, like some people are not buying the whole collections of dolls. Some people are only buying one of the dolls or maybe two of the dolls from a collection and it's good to offer sort of the same accessories in like an assortment so that people can be like oh like I really want this character but I can also get like the accessories with this one if I wanted you know what I mean and even like back like when we were kids and stuff or like whenever you were collecting brats during their sort of prime era back then it wasn't like 
buying all the dolls at once. It was like getting one or two special dolls that you could add to your collection, take home, receive as a present, that type of thing. So I feel like we need to keep that in mind, even with like future doll releases, that recycling shoes or recycling accessories, reusing things isn't bad. But I think when it becomes like a cookie cutter doll, like dolls wearing the same outfits or I don't know, dolls wearing ugly outfits or dolls coming with like accessories that don't really encourage imaginative play that's where i'm kind of like uh eh, like i could do without that you know what i mean but looking at these um i like these glasses as well they're very thin though they're very small glasses he comes with an electroplated flashlight this again would have been really handy for my photo shoot that i did over a year ago we have a a silver watch we have another compass, but this time it is yellow. We have a yellow walkie-talkie. We have a different type of water bottle. This one looks a little bit more like crushed, like curved. Is that intentional? It looks like it might be like an intentional design. We have another silver bracelet that's like barbed wire. And we have another Triquetra necklace. I never noticed the Triquetra necklaces before. That is so cool. I might need that for my mini me whenever that happens. I love that like I can sort of go back to old Bratz releases and not know like any of the accessories, even though I built quite literally the largest Bratz database on the web. <laughs> it's like just so funny to me like, huh? Like, 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 what, what does Wildlife Safari come with in terms of accessories? I don't know, but it's fun having this platform to sort of like figure it out with y'all. But he comes with binoculars, not very different from Dylan's. Ooh, this one scared me for a second. I was like, is this a bug? It's like a scorpion. I like how this is like red, but not red. It's like gold, but then there's like red accents in it. Yeah, a little scorpion keychain. I feel like that's very 2000s of him. Potentially. Catalog. A comb, of course. Also, like, why did Dylan come with a comb? Like, whoever's taking his braids out, why? And his shoes, which are the same. Are they the same mold? Okay, they're the same mold as Cade and Dylan's, but completely different color and also with painted details. I really like them like this, although I will say the black laces... They make them look a little bit odd. Like the, it makes them look like a different shape. Almost kind of like, um, they kind of look like ballet shoes. <laughs> like strappy heels or something, or like strappy ballet shoes. Gay bow. And we also have these camo pants. They're not my fave to be honest, but they're still pretty cool. I like the belt buckle. The belt buckle is kind of like a, it's an eagle. It looks like an eagle or a bird of some sort. That's pretty cute. How have I been going for 40 minutes filming? Girl, I'm opening three dolls. <laughs> Anyways, we also have a red tank top. Just a basic red tank top in that sort of tank top corduroy-like fabric. We have a mono strap bag, which... Oh, here it is. Pretty cute. It has real studs on the front. Not like the best bag, but still a pretty cute bag. I feel like Kate and Dylan's bags were a little bit more detailed and like well constructed, but that one's pretty cute as well. I do like a mono strap. It's very, very of that time. Here's his little camcorder. Not very different from Dylan's, which I wouldn't really expect it to be. Let's get out. Water canteen, and that's um, the same as the others. And then we have, oh, he only has two in the back of his head. It, it's like a, it's like a numbers game. <laughs> All right, here is Eaton. He's very cute. I will say I love his first outfit a lot more than his others. Although there's like thread on some of it and it's really bugging me. Okay, I'm going to do a better job at getting that out later. But he has this long sleeve shirt and there's like a, a cross or I think it's that eagle actually. And it's in a camo fabric, and it's actually sewn on top of it, which is pretty cool. He has this kind of like a, like a, a like a blade necklace. I don't know how to describe those. Those it feels like very of that era, of course. This denim jean vest, and it also has real studs on it. And then some sort of like basic cargo khakis, but they do suit him very well. I do like them. The boots. Oh, these are also. There's painted details on the boots, which is pretty surprising, considering his other pair was also uh, painted completely. 
he has like a faux zipper on the side here, but the pockets are real working. A uh, pretty cool doll. Not my fave. The hair is a little bit messy just because it's like, it should be like a faux hawk mohawk type thing, which is very classic Eaton, but it's a little bit like lopsided, but that's okay. Like we'll make it work. I'll, I'll fix him up eventually, or I don't know. I'm, I'm busy, <laughs> but he's pretty cute. I do like him. I do wish mine wasn't super wonky, but I can't complain too much. Still a cute doll. And that kind of concludes this video. Well, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I really want to get more into, I guess, like classic Bratz unboxings where I unbox more of like classic dolls. I do have like sort of a a pile of dolls that I want to unbox at some point in time, like Bratz dolls I've never opened or Bratz dolls that I've like been waiting to open so I can do it on camera and share the moment with everybody and sort of do like a review at the same time. I think it's really fun just because even though I created like such a large online resource about Bratz and I do like look in Bratz and it's been like a really big part of my life. I feel like there's like so many things I still haven't experienced as a fan. So many dolls I haven't experienced as a fan, including Wildlife Safari, even dolls like Formal Funk or I don't even, like off the top of my head, I'm like thinking like Slumber Party. I've never had a full Slumber Party doll. I've only ever bought them used or I've never had like a full Wintertime Wonderland doll, those sorts of things. So I'm getting stuffy, oh my goodness. But I'm really hoping to like do more of that kind of content on my YouTube channel. I'm hoping in the new year I can sort of shift some focus into more Bratz things. I really love it when I do Bratz things and I talk about Bratz and I get the opportunity to because they really are a huge part of my life. They're a huge reason why I do all of this. I really want to get back into that. I want to do more of that. I do talk a lot about other dolls on this channel and as much as I love doing that, I feel like this past maybe like year or two, like I feel like my passion for Bratz has been sort of dimmed in some weird ways and I've done that on my own. Like not that I've like been intentionally less passionate about Bratz, but there's been moments where I've really just like have distanced myself emotionally from the brand and it's hard to describe honestly. Like I don't even know if this is making sense, but I feel like I lately, especially because I've been doing these huge updates on lookinbrats.com, and if you haven't seen yet, I posted a huge update on my blog at lookinbrats.com, and I've been doing these updates, and it's really just redeveloped and reinvigorated this passion I've had for Bratz over the years, and getting, like, older dolls and, like, more classic Bratz dolls in my collection, like, it, it gives me this really weird sense of euphoria of, like, oh my goodness, like, I... I remember why I love this brand so much and I'm really looking forward to the future of it, but also looking back at some of the things that I missed out on when I was younger. And I feel like that's a, a big reason why a lot of people who are adult doll, doll collectors, but also adult Bratz collectors are getting into Bratz or have been into Bratz because it just kind of, uh, it feeds our soul a little bit. I feel like it feeds my soul a bit. And it really helps um, invigorate me in a weird way. I hope I hope I'm explaining that correctly. I hope y'all are <laughs> catching on to what I'm saying. But I feel like you can expect a lot more Bratz content from me. Not that I ever like completely stopped doing Bratz content, but I feel like I've done a lot of non-Bratz content. And I'm ready to to get back into my girls and my boys. You know what I mean with a Z. <laughs> But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more Bratz and doll content. And go to lookinbrats.com. Um, lookinbrats.com is really cool. I really love lookinbrats.com because I made it. I also, I really love lookinbrats.com. There are some cool things happening. And if you saw the update, you'll see that it really does take time to look that divine because, whoa, I put a lot on my plate. But also check me out on all socials at Look and Bratz. Hold the G on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok. It is all linked in the description of this video. And other than that, I hope y'all have a great day, evening, whatever it is by you. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. What did I film for 40 minutes? 40, 50 minutes. Oh.